Hey guys, it's Dana Shea Williams here with KeepAllYourCash.com. Today's video, you know, I'm really fired up. Um, this isn't going to be like a sweet, positive, upbeat video necessarily, but it's a it's a conversation that really needs to happen. Um, you guys may have heard about all the you know the stuff that's going on in the news now about this you know sequestration that's happening with the military and um, these um, proposed furloughs that are going to be probably taking place if the government can't get it together, if they can't figure out a way to balance this budget and make sure that we have enough money to do all the things that we want to do as a as a country and provide all the benefits but also still have money obviously to pay um, our important people like the military right go figure well you know the thing that I'm sorry I have this piece of hair in my face the thing that is really kind of fire me up about all of this is you know theirs and I'm not this isn't going to be a political video because I don't do that I don't believe in you know pushing my political views on people but what I will say is the thing that I don't agree with is this whole idea of taxing the wealthy more so than you know the average American okay and this is why I do not agree with proposed tax increases for the wealthy let me tell you something as someone who's had a home-based business now for going on a year as someone who I just filed our, our, our taxes our personal taxes and my business taxes you know working for yourself um, which is what most wealthy when they're talking about people who are making over two hundred and fifty thousand or three hundred thousand dollars a year a lot of those people work for themselves and you know just the whole process of, of starting a business the whole process of spending your own money um, to start your business the whole idea that you don't have health insurance you have to pay for your own health insurance you don't have quote benefits like a, po a person that works a nine-to-five you have a lot of obstacles that are facing you if you ever even decide to start a home-based business now of the people who decide to start a home-based business um, if there's a small percentage of those people who are actually successful at it right and who can actually make that type of money now, why in the world would you penalize that? Even if you're someone who works for a corporation and you've worked your way up the top, you've gone, you know, got, gotten an education, you've acquired some sort of special knowledge to offer, and now you are in a position where you're making what you um, are supposed to make, what you deserve, why would we penalize that? Like, it just does not make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me how somebody can sit at home all day, watch TV, talk on the phone, surf the internet, and they get benefits from the government, but yet people who work their butts off, people who actually have done something with their lives, who've actually made something of themselves, now they have to pay more in taxes so that the people who are sitting at home all day can have more benefits. I mean, is that crazy to you or what? Am I just the only one? You know, and I sit back and I think about it because this is the country that my kids are growing up in. If you have kids, this is the country that your kids are growing up in. And one thing that we teach our kids is you work for what you want. You work for what you want. You don't take from people who are working and give it to people who are not working. Now, I understand that, you know, we're in an economic, you know, situation and people have lost their jobs and people have been laid off. Listen, I am not knocking people who have been laid off from their jobs who need government assistance for a season to get back on their feet. I understand that place. I understand that place very well. And so I'm not knocking those people. What I'm talking about is this whole idea in general of, well, that person makes $500,000 a year. They can afford to pay more in taxes. Well, maybe they can afford to pay more in taxes. Maybe they shouldn't have to. You know, I really think, and, and no one's asking my opinion, but I think everyone should be taxed the same. You know, I live in the state of Virginia, and no matter how much money you make, when you go to the store, if you go to Walmart and you buy something from Walmart, you're going to have to pay a 5% sales tax. You can make $2 an hour or you can make $200,000 an hour. You're still going to pay that same 5% sales tax. I don't know why we can't do that with income. I don't know why they expect wealthy people to pay 50% of their income to the government for taxes, yet someone who's making minimum wage, they only have to pay 10 or 20%. Like that, that just doesn't make any sense to me. It never has. Even when I wasn't making the type of money that I make, even when I was making, you know, nine and $10 an hour, I still disagreed with taxing the wealthy. You know why though? I think it's probably because in my mind, I always knew that I was gonna be in a situation where somebody was gonna try to tax 50% of my income. And I'm totally against it. It just goes against everything that I stand for. It goes against everything that I teach my kids. And I think we really need to do something about it. Again, not trying to be political here, but we really need to look at our spending. You know, it's so funny because my kids will tell me all the time, hey mom, can I, can, let me hold $5. Can I borrow $5? And you know what I tell them? Do I have $5? Of course I do. I can give them $5, but I'm not going to give them $5 most often. Now, sometimes I'll be gracious and I'll just give it to them. But you know what I ask them? Where's your money? 
Where's your five dollars? Oh, well, you know, I had to do, and they give me all their excuses, right? And I said, hmm, that's a shame. You know, I'm not going to let you hold five dollars because I don't want to teach you how to start borrowing right now at nine and 10, 11, however old they are, 12, 13 years old. <laughs> They're going to get me. But, you know, I'm not going to teach my kids how to borrow. I'm going to teach them how to earn. Now, we have a system in our household called chores. And if you're a parent, I highly recommend it. It's the best thing ever, right? My kids have certain chores that they have to do. Dishes, bathroom, vacuuming, all those sorts of things. If they do their chores correctly, without being told, they can earn a lot of money. I mean, our chore chart and the amount of money that we pay our kids, some of my friends are like, you pay your kids how much to do that? My kids have to do that for free. And I'm like, no, because I want to teach our kids what it's like to earn their money. I want them to have that fulfillment of knowing that they did a good job, that they did something to better the community, which is the community of our house, and that they earn money. Now, what if I gave them their $20 or whatever for the two weeks that they earned their chores, and I said, hey, I'm going to take half of that because you make more money than most of your friends. I'm going to take half of that, and we're going to put that into a separate fund. You know, that's kind of uh, debilitating for them. And, you know, that's what we're doing to the wealthy when we say, hey, guys, because you make so much money, you can afford it. We're just going to tax you more. We're not going to do anything about cutting spending. We're just going to keep taxing you and taxing you and taxing you. I'm totally against it. And I just wanted to rant. I just wanted to rant because I can and because you're on my channel and because you're on my channel, you have to listen to it. And but, you know, you don't have to agree. Maybe you have a different opinion. Maybe you're saying, Dana, you know what? That's total baloney and this is why. I want you to comment on this video. I want this to be interactive because you know what? My way isn't necessarily the right, right way. It's how I feel. But maybe there is a reason why you think the wealthy should be taxed. I don't know. If there is, comment on this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time and I promise I'll probably have something more positive to say. See you guys.